The Barnes Firm has years of experience handling thousands of car crash cases. We will give you the support you need and help to get the best result possible. Every item in every location, every room in every department, every zip code, every area code will have the opportunity of a lifetime. It took 69 years to prepare for. It's Jerome's 69th Labor Day event. Your best sleep begins on our Emerald Queen Hybrid Mattress, 998 with a free adjustable base. Plus your choice, we pay your sales tax or get 60 months no interest. Spin to win. Everybody's a winner. The best Labor Day event ever kicks off now at Jerome's. Thank you for being part of our family. Today in L.A., weekdays at 4, 5, and 6. The new summer family meal, starting at $24, only at El Pollo Loco. Developing right now at 3, 10 people killed in a private plane crash in Russia, and the passenger list includes a head of a mercenary group who tried to stage a mutiny against the Russian government. The man accused of kidnapping and killing a young woman in Whittier heads to court. We've got new details on the case and charges he now faces. And USC legend Reggie Bush taking on the NCAA. What sparked a new lawsuit? We'll tell you. The NBC4 News at 3 starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Annabelle Sedano. Developing right now at 3, a deadly plane crash in Russia. And the man who tried to stage a military coup over the war in Ukraine may have been on board. NBC4's Conan Nolan joins us live in the newsroom with the latest. Conan. That's right. You know, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said earlier this summer that whoever challenges Russian President Vladimir Putin better watch out. He said, quote, NATO has an open door policy Russia has an open window policy. So the news today to U.S. officials did not come as a shock. Video of the last moments of the 10 passenger business jet as it plummeted to earth. The crash taking place in the Tavir region of Russia, about 60 miles north of Moscow. Among the passengers on board, according to Russian authorities, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the leader of the feared mercenary army known as the Wagner Group. His death coming just two months to the day when Prigozhin, fed up with how the war in Ukraine had been conducted by the Russian military, turned his troops around and marched toward the Kremlin. The mutiny, for a moment, threatening the government of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. Prigozhin later agreed to end the mutiny and temporarily left the country. Now he's dead. President Joe Biden today in Lake Tahoe. I don't know for a fact what happened, but I'm not surprised. Leo, since the mutiny, Progrosian said that Wagner is conducting reconnaissance and search activities and making Russia even greater on all continents and Africa even more free. But U.S. officials say his fate was sealed when he even briefly challenged the Russian president. The U.S. National Security Agency releasing a statement saying no one should be surprised the disastrous war in Ukraine led to a private army marching on Moscow. And now it would seem to this. Retired General Barry McCaffrey. Uh, Putin has murdered impri or imprisoned his opponents for decades now in the clumsiest possible manner. You know, people that are allegedly in hospitals that sail out of a high window in a wheelchair, poisoning people in, in the UK, uh, murdering people within eyesight of the Kremlin. So, I think Prigozhin's ultimate crime was not just marching on Moscow to take on the, uh, the central government. It was saying to the Russian people on social media, this war was a fraud. NATO didn't cause it. We caused it, and it was for corrupt uh, purposes. Once again, Russian authorities are saying Prigozhin was on the flight. It has not been independently confirmed by U.S. officials. I'm Conan Nolan, NBC4 News. All right, thank you very much for that, Conan. And Vasquez and her boyfriend were at Penn Park in Whittier on Sunday when an armed person approached their car and shot at them. Her boyfriend left to get help, and when he got back to the car,